The gun battle at the state capitol is about to start up again. Last session, we got open carry and campus carry. This time, something called constitutional carry is being looked at again, and the gun control community is not happy. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne live from downtown with the story. Casey. Mike, another way to say constitutional carry is permitless carry. No permit needed to carry your handgun openly or concealed. The idea has come up before, but it hasn't gained enough traction to become law. During the 84th legislative session, firearms were the talk of the town. Texas ended up with laws that allow for the open carry of handguns and the concealed carry of handguns into college classrooms. Gun advocate and handgun license instructor Michael Cargill says the violence predicted by the gun control side hasn't happened. They started that back in 1995, and then here we are in 2016. We've had open carry, we have campus carry, and with all the stuff with campus carry, none of, none of the fears have come true. The truth is, is that gun owners um, in Texas are, are not flashy. Uh, they just want to be able to protect themselves and their families and their loved ones and um, not have to depend on someone else to do that. Republican state rep Jonathan Stickland has filed a signature constitutional carry bill again. This is uh, meant to restore the constitutional rights of Texans to be able to carry a uh, firearm without being forced to take a government mandated test and pay a fee. Stickland says last session House leadership never let it come to a vote and ended up supporting the open carry bill instead, which Stickland also supported. Cargill says basically, if you're legally able to possess a gun, you can carry it openly or concealed, no permit required under constitutional carry. Representative Stickland says he's hoping to get support from fellow legislators and get the bill referred to committee. He thinks the push for constitutional carry will be even bigger than the push was for open carry.